Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional. Thanks for joining me on this Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I hope you had a really good meal at Thanksgiving and good times with your family and friends. I hope you're having a good day today. I spent the morning with other people in the church decorating the, the church sanctuary. We're decorating for Christmas already. And th this is normally the day after Thanksgiving you decorate for Christmas. I know there's some Christians who say, you know, we shouldn't celebrate Christmas. They say there's too many pagan elements of Christmas. I really think they ought to lighten up. Pun intended. Anytime you have Easter or Christmas or any other holiday, there'll be Christians that say, oh, you shouldn't celebrate that because there's pagan elements. And, and yeah, what do bunnies and colored Easter eggs have to do with the, the birth of Jesus Christ? They were really originally um, pagan symbols, or at least non-Christian symbols, as well as, you know, what, what's a Christmas tree? Uh, what's what's a wreath? Uh, why do we put up lights? You know, maybe they didn't have their origin specifically in Christian beliefs. But on the other hand, all truth is God's truth. And, and we can put all of these celebrations in a different light. Some people say, we don't know when Jesus was born. It probably wasn't December 25th. And seriously, it probably wasn't. But that doesn't mean we can't celebrate it then. I think the birth of Jesus is something wonderful to celebrate. And if there are elements that predate Christianity in, in our culture, um, where they, they were used for something else, let's redeem those symbols and use them to convey a Christian message. Every once in a while, you'll see a post on Facebook about how the, the candy cane was really a Christian symbol because the, the red symbolizes the blood of Christ and the white symbolizes the purity and the shepherd's crook uh, shape of it. That symbolizes Jesus, the good shepherd. Probably didn't have anything to do with that when it started. But you know what? We can reimagine all these symbols to fit with our most important thing in our life, our relationship with Jesus Christ. I put up a bunch of lights in the sanctuary, and somebody came by and said that they're beautiful. Is it worth all this trouble? Well, what does it mean to put up lights at Christmas? A lot of people put up lights, and all they're doing is saying, hey, I've, I've got better lights than my neighbor. But lights can be a symbol of Christ, too. John 8, 12 says, When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but we'll have the light of life. What did Jesus mean by this? Well, light reveals things. Light dispels the darkness. And that's what Jesus does in every one of our lives when we accept Jesus Christ and follow his way. It dispels the darkness of, of ignorance and sin in our life. I like what C.S. Lewis said about belief in Christianity. He said, I believe in Christianity for the same reason I believe the sun has risen. Not only that I can see it, but that by it, I can see everything else. When we put our faith in Jesus Christ and start to get to know him, we not only know him, but everything else in life takes on a new perspective. And we start to see how everything else fits together to make life meaningful, to make life worthwhile. And so Jesus is the light of life. When I put up Christmas lights, that's what I mean by that. And that's what I'm conveying to the world. So I, I hope you have a wonderful Advent season. Hope you come. And this isn't the first Sunday of Advent. This is the last Sunday before Advent. But we still would love to have you join us this Sunday for worship. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that you sent your son to this earth to become one of us. I thank you that he was willing to humble himself to become one, like one of his creatures. 
And yet, Father, He is the Son of God. He is your Son, and He died for all of our sins. I pray, Father, that everyone listening has already put their faith in you. Thank you, Father, for this season. Thank you for all that we celebrate in you. You are worth worshiping. You are worth celebrating. In the name of Christ we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you all. I love you all. And we will see you tomorrow night, Lord willing. Take care.